Hey guys and welcome back to Cinematic Cosmos Critique. Today we're throwing it back to the original Benton series from 2005 where we were first introduced to the awesome Omnitrix aliens that captured our imagination. We'll be ranking Ben's classic aliens, diving into their strengths, weaknesses and most memorable moments from worst to best. Get ready to rank them all and don't forget to share your own rankings in the comments below. So alright, let's hit it. Starting at number 10, we've got Rip Jaws. In water, Rip Jaws is a force to be reckoned with. His sharp claws and powerful jaws make him perfect for underwater combat. He swims at top speeds with abilities that let him thrive in any aquatic environment. However, outside of water, he's a bit out of a fish of, well, water. His dependency on aquatic surroundings limits his versatility, especially in land battles, making him more of a niche choice and landing him in our bottom spot. At number 9, we have Wild Mutt. This dog-like alien's primal senses are next level, with incredible agility and sharp instincts. Wild Mutt is an excellent in close combat, relying on his enhanced smell, sound and overall animalistic abilities to navigate any situation. But his lack of vision and communication makes him a bit unpredictable and hard to control. As powerful as he is in melee fights, his instinct-driven nature and communication issues hold him back slightly in versatility and coordination. And buzzing in at number 8 is Stinkfly. He may look like a giant dragonfly, but don't let his unusual appearance fool you. This alien is seriously versatile in combat. Stinkfly's wings allow him to zip around quickly, giving him a major advantage in aerial battles. He can spit slime that hardens to trap enemies and has unique toxic emissions, making him effective against a wide range of foes. The downside? He's fragile and awkward on ground, and his smell, let's just say he's not that winning any popularity contest for that. In 7th place we have Grey Matter. He may be small, but he's by far the smartest of the bunch. Grey Matter's intellect allows him to think his way out of nearly any situation, making him perfect for high stakes, problem solving, and hacking into complex systems. With an unparalleled advantage of alien tech, he's invaluable when brains are required. However, this unsized and limited strength means he's no match in hand-to-hand -hand combat, placing him firmly in the brains over brawn category. At number 6, I place Ghost Freak. Ben's eerie, phantom-like alien with the ability to face through walls, turn invisible, and even possess others. Ghost Freak has a frightening range of powers that make him perfect for stealth missions, but his unpredictable nature and eventual villainous turn in the series add a layer of mistrust around him. His rebellious side ultimately shows the risk of using this form, making him one of Ben's riskiest options despite his incredible abilities. At number 5, we have Diamond Head. He shines, he's tough, durable, and can turn his crystalline body into weapons or shields, making him versatile both offensively and defensively. Diamond Head's diamond constructs can reflect attacks, making him highly resistant to damage. His durability and adaptability make him a cornerstone in Ben's roster. However, Diamond Head's size and slightly slower mobility can make him a bit of a target, so he's better suited for battles where brute force is the priority. Speeding into the number 4 spot is Accelerate. This fast-talking high-speed alien has reflexes that put him leagues above his enemies. Accelerate's ability to move at breakneck speed gives him the upper hand in most battles, as he can dodge attacks and disarm enemies before they even realize what's happening. The downside, his reliance on speed means he can be vulnerable in close combat when his momentum is halted, but his pure speed and agility keeps him a fan favorite. And moving towards the big three, we have Upgrade, the tech-enhancing powerhouse. This alien can merge with any technology, enhancing it to its maximum potential, from transforming vehicles to weaponizing everyday machines. Upgrade's adaptability is nearly limitless, especially in high-tech environments, whether he's fighting a problem-solving or he's one of Ben's most versatile and resourceful aliens. His limitation? He's dependent on nearby tech for his full potential, so he's at a disadvantage in tech scarce areas. In the number 2 spot, we have the iconic Forearms. Ben's classic powerhouse, known for his Herculean strength, Forearms can lift, throw and punch his way through nearly any opponent. His brute force is perfect for brawling, especially against larger enemies or in overwhelming combat situations. His size and durability make him incredibly resilient. He lacks the agility some of Ben's other aliens have. Still, Forearms is an absolute juggernaut and an undeniable asset in battle. Finally, at number 1, we've got the Fury favorite Heat Blast. As Ben's first alien transformation, Heat Blast made an unforgettable debut with powerful fire-based attacks and ranged fire blasts. He's equally effective from a distance or up close. 
Heat Blast's flame abilities allow him to be flexible in combat and extremely destructive when he needs to be. He's great for offense, defense, and sheer intimidation. Heat Blast combines power, versatility, and iconic style, making him our top pick and arguably the most memorable of Ben 10's classic aliens. So there you have it folks, the ranking of Ben 10's classic aliens from worst to best. Each alien has its unique strengths and moments in the spotlight. Which is your favorite aliens? What is your list? What do you think we did wrong? What do you think I did right? So until next time, stay cosmic and Cinematic Cosmos Critique signing out.